Welcome back, guys. I am Mellow7, and this is Football Manager 2018 Beta Early Access. We're in the final days of the beta. There's only a few more days left. Despite that, I've decided to start another team. We're going to see how far we can get. Uh, we will probably not finish this season within the beta. However, considering I spent money for assets, uh, as far as video and, and photos and stuff for this, we might see Go Ahead Eagles in FM18 going forward. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. So let's take a look at what we've got for us right now. Uh, let's take a look at our squad really quick. And this is how we've got it set up at the moment. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at the tactics. Let's go there. That's probably a better idea. We, we can see where we got everybody set up. Initially, right now, I'm looking at running something like this. So across the back, we've got Corbin Ong, Shank, uh, Rixepi. I'm going to screw up these names just brutally. Just accept it and move on with your life. If you lose sleep over it, oh, it's going to be a bad, bad few days for you. Uh, Groinbost, Groinbost, Bast, Groinbast, maybe? Not sure. Uh, Overgore, Souk, Beltrame, Zeppar, Shadrach, and Hendricks up here as our striker. Uh, this, I think, is a fairly strong team. And as you can see, for the most part, we've got some fairly decent, uh, as far as roles um, go, you can see Shadrach can do just about everything. Uh, on support, we might slide him back. Uh, it would be nice if these would actually update correctly without having to click them multiple times. Um, and then we could put him on attack. So it still leaves us two attacks and one support up here, but gives us a slightly more circles. Let's go ahead and save it that way. Um, so attacking midfielder, attacking midfield, and uh, Trey Carista on attack. Okay. And then we have an attacking forward up here, also on attack for Hendricks. Uh, Suk is playing um, a Mazala just because he really, really likes it. It's either that or the roaming playmaker. Um, I went with Mazala just because he moves into channels and he'll roam from position a little bit more. Roaming playmaker just, he dribbles a little bit more. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of just dribbling. In fact, I prefer to dribble less and pass more. So we've gone for the Mazala here. We'll see how that goes. Deep lying playmaker on defense for Overgore, uh, just because it's the one he's the most most comfortable in at the moment. Uh, we've got Schenk uh, on defend. We've got Rexby as our stopper. And then uh, out as our wing backs, we have Groenbost and Corbin Ong. Now, I usually just run fullbacks, but it does say that the wing back is for um, when you're out there on the wing all by yourself with no sort of um, winger you know, up front. And that is how we're running it. This is our only width are these guys. So we are going to run the wing back. We'll see how that works. Um, you can see he's much better on defend. Um, see, probably also much better. He wants to be a defensive fullback. He's okay on support, as okay as he is anywhere else. Um, yeah, I think we'll run it with like this, just like this for the moment. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of uh, synchronicities built in for our, our group here, but you can see here our, do, our defenders work together okay. Um, untested partnership, um, but they're good at their roles, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, kind of same thing here, untested partnership and uh, untested partnerships. So we'll see if we can get some of those partnerships tested. Uh, we did not see any improvement in that in the last game. Um, everybody, even when we were fired a few months in, were still untested partnership, which seems a little bit, a little bit slow. These guys, you know, they should be able to start building those connections a little bit quicker. The first, you know, the first few weeks, yes, you know, but, you know, a couple months in, people should, you know, 16, 17 games in, they should know who the other guy is by that point. Um, that is hampered a little bit by having to rotate players a little bit more in this to keep them healthy. Although, most of that with the last team was age. So, um, as far as our subs, we've got Leon uh, de Kugel here as our uh, backup striker, and he's he's really good too. So, um, this is probably going to go just whoever had the better day is going to be in, to be honest. Um, Patrick Manchin? I'm going to go Manchin. Uh, there for AMR. 
uh, AML for Thomas and uh, Lengic. Now, neither of these guys are going to see any of that no, because we don't play wingers. However, they can all to somewhat play mid-center, and we have begun training some of them. I'd especially like to be able to get uh, Langic, Lang, Langdick? It's probably Langdick, but that's, that's, um, that's pretty bad in English. Um, anyway, he's very good, and you can see he does play him. He does play okay here. Some familiarity, so we do want to get him trained up. Uh, he's got some decent acceleration and pace, just good numbers overall. Um, so we'd like to get him there, and then I had one other guy. Is it Mansion? Yeah, with his 15 and 17 there, and he'd be great if we were playing a winger, especially with this 13 crossing. Great first touch. Good technique. His passing is in spectacular, but I think we're trying to train him up in the middle. Uh, advanced playmaker, yes. So we're working a little bit on dribbling and passing. We'll see how that goes. Um, he'd be awesome going forward if we could keep him. Uh, we've got Decker, Brem here, and Dennis, or uh, Brecker and, and Brem as defensive midfield, midfield centers. We don't really play defensive midfielder at the moment, um, but they can fill in there at mid center. Uh, Hatinga, uh, Shoop, Wolf, Ketting, and Nuvenhus, New... maybe. Uh, here are our defensive backups. We're, we're not quite as deep on defensive backup as we, well, we're not terribly deep anywhere. Um, let's be honest, most of our depth up here at mid-center is because we're running wingers, but we didn't really have enough wingers to run wingers and have a backup. You know, we have one left. I guess we've got two left and one right, and that's it. Uh, so we, we couldn't do that. Essentially, this team has good players, but it doesn't have enough depth at any one place to be particularly, um, for me to feel super comfortable anywhere with any of these tactics long term. Uh, and then we've got uh, De Fokert here as our backup goalkeeper. So we have played the preseason. Uh, Virkoven. Oh, and Virkoven played very well, too, as another striker. Uh, we may see him some more. Youngster, only 19 years old, but you can see right there. A uh, little bit of acceleration, good jumping reach, great first touch and heading. So a pretty good target man, uh, and that's probably where we'll play him as we go through. Now, we are allowed to play if we check our uh, Jupiler League uh, rules here somewhere. Uh, you can see that we are allowed 12 subs, still can only use three, so but we'll be able to keep 12 on. So I will actually probably keep a goalkeeper on the bench. Uh, however, no players can play on the reserve team and the main team in the same week. So we can't take the guys that you know are our subs and try to keep their match fitness up by rotating them through that, at least not in the same week. We're going to have to pick and choose a little bit how we want to deal with that. Now, we do have a couple extra players, although we do have one injury. So we got 14 players. So we could kind of rotate two players in and off the bench out to play with that. Uh, under 23 players are exempt. So we do have a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, but that's, I think, probably the biggest change that I'm going to have to worry about, and we'll have to see that. And we can't have any under 18 non-EU players in the squad. So if they're under 18, they have to be EU. Uh, second through seventh, uh, go to the second round of playoffs. Eighth through ninth have to play a, a playoff game first, and that bumps them up into the second round, obviously. Uh, nothing here is particular uh, or weird or anything, so we'll go ahead and see how that goes. Uh, Finance-wise, uh, we've got a little bit of money left. I did adjust this. We should probably see if they'll let me adjust it again. Um, we need... Confirm, will that get us there? No, not quite, but they're not going to let us do it again for a little while. I am trying to get this down. I just haven't paid much attention to it. At least that's close. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We've played okay. Uh, you can see here Shadrach has been a beast for us. Um, everybody else has been kind of up and down. Um, Ong hasn't played great. Corbin Ong here, 6.13 over the last four. Pretty disappointing with that. And uh, Zepper hasn't played spectacular either. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We do have some... Uh, you know, we've got Hatinga back here. Um, and in theory, he's not too much worse and he has slightly more upside. So he may be worth playing a little bit more. We'll have to see. We could also run Shank back there. And then we have um, Ketting and uh, Nuvenhus back there as well on the bench. So 
We have a little bit more depth at defensive center. We could move him out to the left, and, and that may be what we do. Uh, we'll just have to kind of play that as we go. And uh, Zepper, uh, Thomas isn't too te isn't bad. Um, like I say, we could run him in. He does have some upside. He's not uh, spectacular at the moment. Um, and we've got uh, Tim Holscher down there as well. So we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. Uh, Ketting is out for a few more days, so let's go ahead and we'll just kind of swap, move him up here a little bit so he's up with the... I kind of like him in order of kind of positions they play, and he plays mid and attacking mid, so... Well, uh, that's fine right there. Right there, right in the middle. Perfect. All right, so... As far as the schedule goes, we can take a look real quick here. Uh, did okay in the preseason. You know, we just lost this for, this one to Heracles. Um, drew, draws with Brentford and Zvole. This is, I believe, our big rival here. Uh, judging from when I got online to start looking stuff up, all the big middle fingers with the, the Zvole sign uh, from, from our fans here. So uh, FC Linden and uh, Zibergia. Uh, we had wins. So we have a match tomorrow at 2000 against MVV. They are currently in, well, it's alphabetical. Let's take a look at what the preview is supposed to be. You see, we're supposed to be about fifth. Uh, MVV is supposed to be 17th. So this is a game we should win. So I think we can go ahead and probably play a little bit more offensive and we get to the beginning of the game, we might move it up to attacking. Maybe we come out strong. And see what we can do. I have two positions, two formations built. Uh, the other one runs two strikers and one attacking midfielder, uh, just because I have a few extra strikers. So to help rotate the plane, it stays fairly aggressive, um, but uh, just gives us a slightly a slight wrinkle on what we're doing, but without too many changes. We are pretty good on our uh, match or on our tactical. You can see right here familiarity. Uh, the other one's not quite this close, but it's pretty darn close. Mentality's about it. What happens if we go to control? Are we happier with that mentality? There we go. We'll just go control. They love that. I think we'll just live with that for right now. Let's go ahead and save that really fast. I would like to be a more uh, offensive team. We are, um, like I said, supposed to be fifth, so we could probably get away with it. Um, yeah. Oh, so the other one, we, we drop one guy back into mid-center, we move one guy up to forward, so we end up running a 4-3-3 uh, a is our other formation, by the way. So a little bit more midfield uh, depth. Uh, well, sure, past his fitness, he's good for 45 minutes. If we were to need him, I think we're okay. Oh, let's see what happens here. All right. Um... Yeah, everybody looks okay there. We got Ketting down here, injured for a little bit longer, 9 to 12 days. And let's go ahead and submit team. Uh, Zemper was injured some. Uh, he did get some gameplay in. Wow. Let's see if I can... Okay, in this case, changing the headphone volume does not change the overall desktop volume, but I am going to lower it at the computer a little bit because on my mixer, it appears to be just blowing it out. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm playing with audio. I'm trying to improve my uh, my editing process here. Let's go to the dressing room. Uh, talk to team. Sure, why not? Now, I did learn in the last playthrough that the most important and best team talk ever is to say nothing. My assistant manager used it all the time and everybody universally loved it. That's stupid. The coach not saying a word should not be the biggest motivating factor out there. Unless we really hate the coach. Um, it's the first one. Have fun. All right? Let the assistant talk. He doesn't really have anything. Uh, he is doing the opposition. Uh, okay, we're doing some closing down. Show on 
I'm good with that, just as long as we're not uh, tackling everybody hard. I think that's the important bit. So let's go to kickoff and see what happens. Uh, how? We... Make sure we got this set up correctly. Uh, we'll go to key highlights. We are on sideline initially, and then we'll go to the TV view when we need to. I do have some match tactics down there. I wish this would go invisibly when the ball gets in there, but we'll just have to live with it. Shadrach's got it back to Shank. It doesn't matter. That's the kickoff highlight. Maybe I'll have a drink. Hmm. Possession's pretty equal, despite us being on control, so that's good. Slight advantage for us. We do have a couple shots, one of which has actually been on target and a foul. Uh, Hendricks has not played great. They get a free kick, which of course they put in. One shot, one goal. That's how FM works. Bad teams score on every single chance they get. You'll get 87 chances and not score once. Uh, we're just racking up the fouls though. Hendricks has not played well. We may have to put Kogel in. De Kugel. Oh, yeah, we just... Oh, they must screw up, Hendricks! Oh, my gosh! Oh, they completely misplayed it, and we had a chance, and Hendricks missed it twice. Oh. Yep, Hendricks is coming out at half, unless he scores here something crazy. Beltram just hits the wall on our free kick. Souk, back to Beltram. All the way back to Gorbast. Over Gore. Nice shot up into... Oh, there we go. Beautiful pass up from Overgur to Hendricks. But he was off sides. Oh, my gosh. Football manager is certainly not doing us any favors this match. I think we've played well, though. Seven shots. They have closed it a little bit on shots. Possession still straight even. We have had our chances. We just haven't finished on him. Hendricks has played just terribly. Our goalie's uninterested, which makes no sense at all. We're gonna we're gonna yell at the fan or the team here at halftime. Assuming it lets me hit continue. There we go. Dressing room. Talk to team. Uh, there we go. In pep talk. Let's go to tactics. And uh, Hendricks is out. He's just played terribly. Let's go ahead and, uh, why is it? Hmm. Instead of roll reliability, let's replace this with position reliability. Um... Hmm. There we go. That's what we want. And we have him listed as a target man. He has his own personalized deal. So let's go for that and um, start the second half. And hopefully it'll go a little bit better this time. We've got Stevens back there in the, uh, the pink and black kit there. Shank feeds it back to him. Uh, Rexby's not had a great match either. Come on, let's... Uh, not sure what to think here. You know, I don't know. They haven't had any clear-cut chances, just three half chances, but they're making them pay. And we're not doing anything. I think I'm going to do a demand more here. and see what happens. Nothing, apparently. Nothing is happening. All right, we're going to do a sub. Uh, Corbin has continued to just be terrible. Let's put Hatinga in, give him a chance. Man, the whole team's been bad. Um, a 
Let's confirm that. Hit play. See if that helps. You know, like I say, I didn't see anything terrible in the preseason. We played okay. Um, but yeah, clearly we're not doing well at the moment. This is a horrible first match. Beltram's injured. There's our third sub. Uh... Will Thomas. Get him out. Dekugel hasn't played much better. 6-4 versus 6-2. Either way, our, goal, our, our strikers have just been terrible today. Come on, let's... Let's apparently not try to get one. Uh, shots are equaled up. On target have equaled up. Fouls are pretty close. Possession's pretty close. Uh, it's an equal game. I had one earlier where I want to say our loss, 3 nothing, was a dead even match. It's just every time they kicked the ball, it went in. Every time we kicked the ball, it didn't. Uh, you know, but you'd never believe if you looked at the stats that we got blank 3 nothing. Shots like that don't help much, though. But we are running down to the time. He heard the clock tick and he took the shot. I don't really have an issue with that final one. Um, that was terrible. But you can see here, we didn't play badly. 17 shots versus 13. Both had four on target. We did have a few more fouls, and we did have a yellow card, but possession was equal. We just didn't play well. Um, is what it is. Dressing room, I think... Um, we'll let the assistant tell him we're unhappy. That's fine. Uh, who's stressed? Sander Thomas, don't really care. In talk. That is what it is. Not not a thrilling final end to that season, uh, or to that season, to that game. Let's go ahead and leave match really quick, and uh, profit from wasteful COVID. Scored all their goals from set pieces. Okay. So we need to work on our defensive set pieces, is what I'm seeing there. Beltram's out for two to three days. That's fine. Shadrach makes his go-ahead Eagles debut. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the dynamics page right away. Cohesion's very poor. Um, I'm not really sure. We've been working on it a fair amount in the preseason, I think. Uh, training, did we work on it? Uh, we are... We have worked on it some, not a huge amount. Uh, you can see it is what's listed to happen for the for a while now. Um, we worked on fitness mostly early. But either way, um, that's a little bit disappointing. I mean, these players did play together before the season. I don't know why they don't come into the game with some cohesion in the first season. Um, I'm, I'm betting the computer-controlled games have cohesion, so I'm a little bit annoyed at that. Um, that ours is so bad initially. Um, locker room is okay. Leadership support is okay. We can check the hierarchy here. Um, I've got six players for, two players against. I think it was eight and one before that match, so we'll just have to watch that and see how that goes. Uh, I did look at, uh, if you remember, in, this is uh, version 18.0.3. Uh, match plans are now... Comp I'm mostly sure, well, I'm sure match plans were broken 18... Uh, point zero point two, they did work in in one, uh, but two they didn't apparently work at all. But you could at least set them. However, you can see here if we want to add a scenario, um, okay, we add a draw. If I have a draw, I want to be control mentality, flexible shape. Okay, that works. Now, uh, what happens if we are winning by two goals? We can't pick that. What happens if we're losing by a goal? Can't pick that. Now your only option is drawing. Uh, so they have broken it completely at this point. Uh, don't know. Maybe they did that because people were relying on it, because it looked like you were setting it, but then it was failing, so they just decided they'd break it the rest of the way while they figured out the problem. Not actually sure, um, but match plans are officially not a thing at the moment. Well, not officially. Nothing in the patch notes said that it was broken or that they had broken it on purpose. 
In fact, nothing in the patch notes says anything about it at all, but clearly from patch to patch to patch, changes have happened that have affected this, despite nothing being in the patch notes, which is a little bit dis disappointing. Um, but anyway, at the moment, broke. We'll see if it works when the game launches. Um, and I think that's probably probably good enough for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see how much of the season we get through. I'm going to try again for maybe two episodes per day um, through the rest of this week, and then, and then we'll kind of see... Uh, after the game launches, how we go from there. I, I want to say it launches on the 10th. I was thinking it was the 15th, but now I'm thinking it's the 10th. I could just look, but that would be too easy. Um, so we'll see what happens. Cheers.